Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Judith Manier, and I'm a sister of St. Joseph, currently living and ministering from Cleveland, Ohio. Thank you so much for joining us today for this brief reflection. This coming Friday's Gospel of Mark really speaks to me and to all of the family of Joseph, I would imagine. Part of it reads like this. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these, said Jesus. So all of Christianity comes down to how we love God and how everything we do, work, entertainment, education, everything, displays our love for God. There is no success, status, or possession that will matter at the end of our days. How we loved God and how we loved the dear neighbor will be the measure of our legacy. So it's important to remember that without a right relationship with God, our relationships with others will not be right either. We'll never love our neighbors as ourselves if we don't first love God with all our heart, mind, and soul. We love God because we were first loved by God. The big takeaway from this great commandment, as it's called, is that we cannot unite the two parts from one another. As we love God with our whole being, we must also love the dear neighbor. We can't untie that knot. It's impossible to love the dear neighbor without first loving God. Love God, love others. Everything else flows from this great commandment. But while the great commandment sounds simple, living it out is another story. Some people are really easy to love, right? Others, not so much. And we're not called to only love our friends but to also love those who are difficult to love. And newsflash, we can't forget that we aren't so easy to love sometimes either. I know I'm not, yet God still loves us. Yes, the great commandment isn't easy. It's simple to understand, but it takes a lifetime to master. And that's where God's grace comes in. Each of us will spend a lifetime struggling to love every neighbor without distinction. And we'll all fail sometimes. But God is ever faithful and will always lift us up when we fall to loving the other. I'll end by sharing a prayer attributed to Jesuit Father Pedro Arupe that was given to me when I entered religious life, and I offer it to you as we move toward week four of Lent. Nothing is more practical than falling in love, than finding God and falling in love with God in a quite absolute final way. What you're in love with, what seizes your imagination, will affect everything. It will decide what will get you out of bed in the morning, what you do with your evenings, 
how you spend your weekends, what you read, whom you know, what breaks your heart, and what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love, stay in love, and it will decide everything. Thanks so much for sharing this Lenten Reflection Time with us today. Please join us again next Wednesday for another reflection in the fourth week of Lent. In the meantime, let's pray for one another that our love for God and neighbor will bring more unity into our world. See you next week.